What are the effects of using the white, silver, and gold on a reflector when shooting portraits in the studio? Stick with us through this episode of Photography 180 and we're gonna show you an example of each look. Here in the studio, obviously, we're gonna show you an example of what using the silver, gold, and white sides on a reflector are when shooting portraits. This actually, this topic came from one of our users who uh, commented on the channel and said that they would love to see this example done. So here we are. Thank you for submitting that, and I hope this is helpful seeing the results of the three different setups. And for this shoot, we are using the Cheetah Stand Bowflector. So that has, again, the gold, white, and silver sides readily available. So we're gonna swap each one out as we take a portrait of Maria, and you're gonna see the difference between those three using the exact same light setup, which is gonna be a key light up high at about a 45, pretty straightforward. Uh, we just wanna keep the results consistent for you. So to get started, we're gonna be using the silver side on the Cheetah Stand Bowl Flector first. Uh, again, light is about a 45 down. Some people have brought up the topic of when using a, a curved reflector like this, is it possible to use the light off kind of axis? Um, and I've, I've done it for quite, for quite a while. I like the results I get. Of course, yes, if you lined it straight up on the above, more like clamshell, um, you might get a more consistent result on the catch light that you're getting, um, but I've never had any issues using it in this fashion. So this is how I go. Um, if you wanna use it more straight on, definitely go for it. Bring it straight on to me, perfect. Beautiful. And so that's the example with the silver side, a 64th power on the light, 1 1 60th F 4.5 ISO 160 on the camera, Sony A92. Now we're going to put on the white side and take another shot without changing anything so you can see the difference in the results. Now the Bowflector does come again with the uh, interchangeable sides. It's all Velcro, so it makes it fairly straightforward, fairly quick to assemble. Good, so everything stays the same. We're just using the white side of the Bowflector now. Same thing, Maria, one, two, three. Perfect, so we'll take a look at that result and then we're gonna finalize it with the uh, sample shot on the gold side. Okay, perfect. So uh, our final sample shot here is going to be with the gold or zebra side. Um, it's definitely gonna give a warmer feel to the skin. So you kind of make this decision based on who your subject is and um, you know which look kind of looks best based on what you see on the back of the camera. Some people love that warm tone and some people prefer a cooler one. So who's to decide which one's the best? Well, that's up to you and your client. Here's the three all side by side. Uh, comment down below if you'd like to let us know which one you prefer. And I hope that was helpful for the, again, the user who submitted this topic for Photography 180. Thank you for that. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next week for another episode.